Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. I don't know why I'm saying that. I have a whole intro for that. Anyway, I went to two different thrift stores and a bins. So the Everett bins, because that's pretty much the only one I go to. I'm hot, because you know why? Because I recorded this video but I wasn't actually recording. No! Anyway, my name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad. I am a full-time reseller and I go to places like thrift stores, buy sell trade stores, and the Goodwill outlet to buy things to sell on Poshmark and eBay. If you're new here, hi, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. I got a great, here we go. This is UMG, this is Coop, not UMG, I'm sorry, this is Cooperative. I think it's sold in Anthropology. This is a, I believe it's a wool blend coat. I think this is a small. I There is this new and again thrift store. It's now located on Evergreen Way on like the 6900th block. Anyway, it's where the old Alfie's was on Evergreen Way towards the Starbucks that's on 75, 75th Street. If you live in Everett, around Everett, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so they were having a sale and if you sign up for their uh, email list, they'll, they'll email you their sales are having every week. And they were having sales on, on coats and coats and sweaters. Now their sweaters were trash, but they had some good coats. So I picked up 10 coats for $5 each. This was one of them. <laughs> I explained it better when I wasn't actually recording. Of course, right? I'm hot, I'm over it. Okay, this is Nordstrom. You can't really see it because they don't have any contrasting in their actual labels. Anyway, so this is a tweed moto jacket. It's extra small, three, four sleeves. Very cute. I don't know what's, I think it's, I think it's wool or a wool blend. Yeah, wool, silk, nylon, and acrylic. So I picked it up. This is Larry Levine. This is an extra large. You probably saw this name a lot with uh, with Tahari items that Larry Levine had a line with Tahari. Anyway, this is a puffer, uh, a puffer jacket, but it's also a down jacket. So um, yeah, so I think this will actually do pretty well. I'm gonna probably list this for around, I don't know, 75 to 100, hoping for about 60 or north of 60. Um, G, this is a medium. And it is a distressed, destroyed trucker jacket. It is oversized. It, oh, I guess it's not oversized, it's men's. It's a men's trucker jacket. So yeah. I didn't realize they made that or they made they made a men's trucker jacket for women i have to look it up so um because the button's on the men's side anyway this is hot Ma mondi or mode i'm not sure this is a faux leather faux suede jacket it has a belt has pockets so i went ahead and picked this up because i thought it'd be a great item you know it's a great layering piece put that over there this is martha stewart this is a short sleeve puffer vest. Um, I sold one of these before in green. I think this color will do better. Even though green is a great color, but I think that one will just do better. This is cabbie. This is small. This is a gray and brown animal print uh, puffer vest. It is not down, I do not believe. Let me just double check that. Nope, the pill, the, the pill. The filling is polyester. I try to pick up uh, down jackets, but even if they're not down, sometimes it's okay. This is a extra large Land's End uh, or size 18 um, puffer vest. I do believe this is down. Let me just double check. Yes, this is down. Great for fall. It's a purple even, though, well, it's like a royal blue, which is kind of a purpley blue. Anyway, this is Torrid Zero X. This is the military band style jacket. I sold one of these before, but it was in 4X and it was green. This one is a red uh, zero. Between an extra large and a 1X, in my opinion, is the 0X. Anyway, so I think this was gonna do pretty good. I like the herringbone pattern on it. You can see that. There we go. And the last one from that thrift store is this, um, Chelsea Studio. It's a two to four X. It's a cape coat. I wore this to the soiree and it was actually pretty warm. Um, but yeah, it's a faux, faux fur, faux suede coat and it has faux leather on the inside. I don't expect to get a lot, but like I said, I paid 
five dollars for each one of these. Now we'll go to Value Village Thrift. Um, I went to Value Village. I picked up nine pairs of pants. First one is soft surroundings. Also, someone a, a company who doesn't like to have any kind of contrasting in their tags. This is 100% linen wide leg pants. This is like a it's like a light orange, but it's like a brownie orange, like an earthy orange. So yeah, in great condition. Uh, this is piece of cloth. This is made in the USA, they're size 10. They are the Shelby, they are black, and they are from the Cancer Society. Be mindful and present in the moment. These retail for like $200 originally. So these are a slim straight pant. These are career wear. Um, I am going to put them up for 150 since they are new with tag and see what happens. These are BDG. I'm going to probably list these for around 40. See what happens. They're size 27, 32. These are a pull on corduroy pant, wide leg. They have pockets. Great. Uh, it's a nice dusty, like rose type color. I think great for the fall. This is also great for the fall. This is Diane von Furstenberg. Or Diane Von Surf and Turf, if you like Jack and Ryan. These are size eight. These are a olive green Ponty pant. Uh, great for career wear. And they do have pockets. I don't know if the back pockets are real. Yes, they are. They're just sewn shut. So I got, whew, it's gonna fall over. These are TNA, which is an Aritzia brand. Aritzia is mainly a Canadian brand. However, if you're on the West Coast and in Pacific Northwest, we do have a store, Aritzia store in Bellevue and in Seattle. And Seattle is about 30 miles south of me. I am in Everett. And so these are a little bit faded, but they are a jogger style pant. I think they'll do okay though. This is a pair of Spanx. These were all together. There's a size medium. These are the perfect pull on pants and they are a slim pant and they also they're also ponty and they have this notch in the back all three of them have that notch they have no pockets the pockets are faux and these are the black ones full size medium again Spanx show you that again and these are black and they are the perfect pull on pants as well so I think someone got rid of their uh, small collection of Spanx pants career pants so this is the other black pair. So this is J Crew, size 12. Anyway, this is a black blazer. I can't remember which one is a double breasted bra blazer. Blazer. I am gonna sell this for. I'm gonna list it for around 100 and see what happens. This I'm gonna list for 45. I do remember that. This is Kirkland. This is large cashmere men's. I have this little hole to fix at the collar, which will be easy because just right at the seam. And yeah, it's a collared, basically a Henley cashmere sweater. This is Sundance. I'll probably list this for about 50 or 40. Um, it's just a chunky over, oh, a chunky open knit sweater. There we go. Open front knit sweater. Jeez. This is Thursday Boot Co. And these are handmade in small batches. And this is a size nine and a half men's. And they are a lace up. Uh, they have a little heel drag, but not too bad. So I will put that in my listing. I will not be cleaning these up at all because that's part of the aesthetic for that brand as well. It's kind of like frying that way. In my, it, from my research. Anyway, this is Isaac Mizrahi Live 18W Velvet Blazer. It's this nice, uh, it's a, it's like a camel brown because it's not quite a, um, it looks kind of mustardy on the video, but it's not. This was a great find, but not my best find. This is All Saints Large. This is the Ga Gacito. Let me read that again. Gacidro. Gacidro jacket. Uh, because, you know, they also don't like to have contrasting on their tags not very well at least anyway so this is a men's trucker jacket i'll be listing this for about a hundred dollars and see what happens this is cut from the cloth these are the katie boyfriend shorts 
These are new with tag. Always love finding new with tag shorts, jean shorts, especially in cut from the cloth. Whew, I am a sweaty Betty. This is, <laughs> I tell you, this is an unbranded Japanese silk kimono. Um, I find these oh, pretty regularly at the bins. This is a short kimono. It needs a little bit of uh, spot cleaning, but I think it'll be fine. This is Bruno Rossetti. This is a vintage uh, double-breasted blazer, men's, um, but also this is a peak collar. I mean, a peak, a peak lapel. You can tell it's a peak because it's peeking out, and that's how I remember it. Now, if you want to, the difference between a peak and a, a notch, this is peak, and the notch is generally about like that. You see what I'm saying? You see there's the notch, but this is a peak. So just remember that. And then a shawl, a shawl one would just kind of be all one piece. But this is a great, I love the small houndstooth pattern. And I think and this is 100% Tuni made and it's also wool. This is Carl Lagerfield Paris. I've never found this brand before. They're size nine. These are kind of a cool like military, like band boots great heels. They don't look like they were worn all that much. I mean, a little bit, but not that much. These are Fry and uh, people miss this because it didn't have like the Fry emblem right here, which I think people are used to, but it is Fry and it is a size eight and a half. They're in pretty good condition. Nice riding boot. He, these are Cole Haan. These are men's size 10. Um, these are double monk strap boots. And this is the other one. I love the patina on these. Nice wear. Okay, so this is Luis et, et, et C. Am I, am I upside down? I don't think so. Anyway, this is sold at Nordstrom and it is a like a mulberry uh, size 10 um, velvet boot and then these are Ugg and they're just like a ribbed pull-on sneaker Let's see Ugg right there as well they're in pretty good condition there's the other one okay so start with the chair this is guess uh, so this is a uh, vintage. I know that. And it's like a coated, uh, coated cotton jacket. This, I was really excited to find not my best find to th this day, but it's a cool find. So it is a union made and this union tag, I do believe when I looked it up, I'll double check, um, is between 19... 1956 and 1963 this tag was being used so this is very vintage has a wired collar so you know you can put it any way you kind of want and then here is the skirt that went with it this is the same even though it's pleated it is the same like material anyway and this is uh, also the same union tag that was on the other one same year and everything so I'm pretty sure these were donated together they went together okay so this I'm gonna show you the brand on the leg because it's hard to read on the waistband okay these can go for a bit these is Fleo um, I had never heard of these before so these felt really nice they feel a bit like Lululemon in that way um, but yeah, these are some pretty good pair of yoga pants, basically. This is Kate Spade, and no, it's not my best find of the day. This is Kate Spade, New York. It's a really pretty, uh, wool blend, uh, what do you call it? Bow coat, you know, has like the bow right here. 
in great condition. Needs a little, needs a little fixing up. Size eight, I believe. This is really pretty. Thank you, Galena at the bins. She handed this to me. I thought she was a reseller this whole time. She's not. She's just there for her family. Um, anyway, so uh, this is uh, a, like a striped sundress. I forgot the style name. I'll have to insert that. If I remember. Sorry. This is a Modo, Topshop Modo jacket, size 10. And it's basically kind of like an oversized trucker jacket. This is flax. Still not my best item. Uh, medium linen striped oversized. Usually flax is made oversized like Eileen Fisher. It's a very like drapey, lagging looky type of uh, immature brand. Anyway, this is a great brand. It sells for a lot um, originally and also can resell for a lot. I found a flax linen dress that was like a maxi dress. I sold it for $100 over the week, not weekend, sorry, over the summer. This I bought to upcycle. This is a size 27 curvy high rise skinny crop. These are made well, but they have some stains on them. So, and they are kind of a skinny. So I'm gonna, I got them to upcycle. This is Blarney Woolen Mills. And this is a nice, uh, it's not, uh, it's wool. It is wool, 100% wool lamb's wool it's pretty soft it does have a small stain so i'm gonna like stain treat that and if i can't get it out because you can wash wool you can wash all wool and cashmere on cold i put the gentle cycle on cold i make sure the rinse is also in cold so do not wash them in warm or hot because it will shrink it but if you wash it in, in cold cold and then just lay flat on a blanket or not blanket but a towel to dry it'll be fine Okay, so not your daughter's jeans. Uh, size 14. It's this abstract paisley. I thought these were cute, so I picked them up. I like picking up the bigger sizes and not your daughter's jeans. This is J. Crew. This is two ply cashmere. And it is Italian cashmere. Anyway, it's an Argyle sweater. It needs some sweater shaving, which I don't mind doing. This is Good American Zara, size 16 or size 48. These need a button, and I have buttons, and I'm gonna put on there, and I'll just say, disclose that I added the button. But I have ones that not just push on the back, but they screw onto the back, so they won't just come right off. Anyway, so these are some nice uh, baggy pants. Okay, and this, oh, there's two more items. So this is Escada, also not the best thing I got today or that day by Margaret Lee. These are, about, these are wool and I look like they'll be able to sell them for about 50, 60 bucks. So they're a good work career pant. Canada work, let me just do this. Okay, this is a heavy coat. This is Canada uh, weather gear 2X jacket and it is huge it is a big big old jacket so yeah i think this is like 175 we'll see what happens and the best one i got and i didn't even realize what i had until i got home and i was checking the comps and when i did that i was like <gasps> my husband like we were watching something in the living room i have a table in the in the living room so i can do that and he like stopped the show we were watching. He's like, are you okay? Did you hurt yourself or something? I was like, no. And I showed him the comps, which I will have on the screen here. And he was like, holy cow. So yeah. So all I saw first was this and I felt it. I'm like, oh, that's so soft. That's real fur. You can tell real fur from faux fur by touching it. You can, but it does say it on the tag But this is Mackage. This is definitely a Bolo brand. Um, and this coat is not the typical coat they sell. They sell one with a big hood and it has like fur that comes down. But this is, um, I haven't been able to find the exact style. They all have like names and stuff. 
If you know which style or know how to figure out the style for a coat you have, let me know. Um, there's a bunch of tags on the inside too that has pockets. It's down. It's real fur on the trim and has real leather trim on the pockets and right here. And it is just a beautiful coat. It is a size small, right? Your size small? Yes. But I'll be listing that girl for $700 and see what happens. And that's not even like insane to list it for that. I mean, I don't know if it'll sell for that, but I'm gonna list it for that and I'm gonna take offers. And I'm really hoping I get a great offer from a Canadian buyer. <laughs> from a, a buyer that is not in the United States so it can't come back because I love that the, there's no returns on the new global shipping program. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, weekend. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite and uh, did I say if you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. I have a lot of new subscribers recently. I'm so excited about that. Thank you so much for giving me a shot. Um, also, I do haul videos, uh, obviously. I'm doing a haul video right now. I do what sold videos. I need to do the last week in September. I'll be doing that this week at some point. And I have ship with me videos that I do. So stay tuned and thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, weekend.